Hi guys, today we're going to be seeing the true size of um, the countries on the equator. So, I guess, let's start. So let's start from the left. Here's Ecuador. I'm not sure if Peru is on the equator. Looks very close, but it looks like Colombia too. I'm not sure. But I think these are all of them. Also, so I think also Kiribati is there too. Also, see it's one piece of day. So, okay, here we are. So, here's Ecuador. Let's bring it to the US. So, Ecuador, so they, they give us how big it is. Total size in kilometers? No. No, no one wants that. Ah, here we are. So, um, square miles. Wait, which one is which? I'm not sure. I think is the 100,000 one. It's the. Okay, so here's Ecuador in it, so it's about the size. Th these islands are quite big too. Like if we just go down to Rhode Island, you can see that these islands are bigger than Rhode Island. Or uh, the world of the island. Even though Rhode Island isn't even an island. Wait a minute, this looks like the UK. Don't you see that? See that there's Britain. It's like Britain here. It's Northern Ireland. Wait a minute. Has it? Wait. Wait, come on. Is it? Maybe we'll take clear. Okay, put it out. Also, that looks like Finland, I think. But I think it just looks more like the UK because of the other islands. Wait. Let's put this higher. Okay, set to tilt the other way. But maybe in its normal state. So here, does it look like it? Does it look like the UK? It's just normal. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Anyway, so we're getting distracted. So if we put it so it can surround Ohio, Ecuador is pretty big. And if we put it in Canada, this is the size of it. Also, um, the reason that it gets big is because this is a flat map, but um, but the world's a globe. Uh, unless you have flat Earth footballs. Wait, that does count. So, countries in the equator, like Ecuador, and like every single country we're going to talk about, look much smaller compared to Canada and Greenland, but that's just because um, countries in the equator are the same size if it was on the globe, but uh, countries up here are exaggerated, like Greenland. Greenland looks like Africa, but it actually isn't. But we're only supposed to do these countries that... No one will know. For example, Greenland. This looks like Africa size, but actually it's only the size of Greenland, I guess. So, so let's just delete that. Also, if I want to visit this website called the True Size. Okay, let's put it to Europe now. Okay, here we are. Mm, wait. Yeah, we can even see we. Wait, wait, these islands look so much like the UK. Look at this. This looks so. This is Northern Ireland, like we are. And then, um, yeah, I guess. So I guess, I guess it's a similar size to Poland, but I don't know. I think it could be a better one. Ah, Belarus. It's bigger than Belarus. Actually, it's pretty, pretty much the size of Belarus. So there we are. And then, okay, good. So now let's move on to Colombia. Colombia is the next one. So if we bring it to the US, here it is. And if we put it in the central US, it's right here. So it could go from uh, Canada to Texas. Yeah, Canada to Texas, but no, it doesn't feel like we could. Oh yeah, Mexico to Canada. Yeah, that's better. And this is California. So, uh, hmm, okay, and let's just put this here. Now, now let's try it on the Nautics. So, here we are. It looks a um, pretty good size, comparatively. And, yeah, I think I'm just going to keep it in between Canada and Mexico. And in the US. Okay, so, let's go with Brazil next. Uh, that is the next country, actually. Technically, is the Kiribati more west, but still, date finally kind of 
that in Gosford, so does this mean that this way is west? This way is east, I mean. I mean, this way is east, so the reverse is in here. This would be the anomaly. The reverse would be there, but I'm not sure. Let's just, just bring um, Brazil. So Brazil could go in between. Um, so it could go from Brazil all the way to Canada. I oh, yeah, actually, I think I know this. That actually, Brazil is closer to Canada. The, 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 the northernmost point is closer to Canada than the southernmost point. As you can see from here, it's Canada. The light is close. No, no, actually, it isn't. If we just move that there. And just yeah, so. Yeah. I'm not sure. I think you have to line it up properly. So, we're not going to be doing that. So, let's just keep it there. Actually, we need to see compared to Europe. So, here we are. Here you can see it compared to Europe. Brazil compared to Europe. Let's just keep it in between here. Next, let's go with um, uh, say it on my principal. Say it to my principal if I can just grab it. So these are on the equator, but they're not really too big. So we're gonna need to uh, zoom in and find a place higher or higher. No, say it to my principal. I say it to my principal. It doesn't deserve to be higher. Let's go with. New York, no. Let's go with the um, Washington DC. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's much better. So here we are. And yeah, so this is the island. It's smaller than the city. Here's Baltimore. Yeah, okay. Mm. Oh, yeah, um, also for the uh, last video, you see the video I, I named the Boroughs and stuff. I did actually name all the UK borrowers, but but it's but uh, it just corrupted. You see, you see that it just it just showed one screen, even though I said I was confetti. I promised I was confetti. I wasn't just leaving it there. Guys, just something happened. Look, I can borrowers. Okay, yeah, no, Croydon. Yeah, okay. So like up here is like um, Barnet and. Enfield and stuff, but so this is. But I guess we're gonna have to go next to Gabon. So Gabon's actually. So talking about the UK. So here's Gabon. It's more of a square shape, but if we check the size, so I'm not sure which one to listen to. Um. It, it, let's just say the bigger one. No, let's say the smaller one. So. So this one, so the UK is ninety three thousand kilometers, or I guess kilometers, no miles, yeah. Uh, so one hundred three kilometers. Yeah, so they are bigger, as you can see. But this is just more square. If we just, um, you know, if we just cut up Gabon, it it would be bigger, as you can see. So great. Now let's go to Congo. Congo? How, how is this the flag? Wait, what's this flag? Seriously not. This isn't the flag. This is the flag of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Largest country in Sub-Saharan Africa. What, what's wrong with this? No. Sub-Saharan Africa? Isn't this Sub-Saharan? Sub-Saharan? Maybe this is the Sahara. But... Then the says nothing. It doesn't make any sense. And yeah, it's definitely not that big. But uh, yeah, so they mixed that up. But this is the Republic of the Congo, not the Democratic Republic of the Congo. They just put in Sweden, Democratic Republic of the Congo. Also, guys, remember to subscribe and like the video if you like it so far. I'm not sure if you did, but I hope you did. Oh, look, there's even two. So let's put one in Russia. So we compare it to Europe, yes. Uganda, so Uganda. There's Iceland. Kenya. Let's go with mm, Germany. Germany's too small. Let's just put it in Germany. Okay, so okay, so kids much bigger. Oh yeah, Somali la Somalia is a straight line because doesn't include 
Somalia. Som Somaliland, even though it's not even recognized by any countries. Not shown. Yes. Mm. Okay, so here's and then there's so many countries in here. As we were talking about the Congo, Congo, Sub-Saharan Africa. This is apparently the largest country in Sub-Saharan Africa. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, yeah, now, oh no, oh no, I, no, I feel like I'm Australia now. How did I say yeah, no? <clears throat> um, okay, uh, and I think we have to end quickly. Uh, here's, uh, Here's Indonesia, so we go from, I uh, guess, Russia, this little tip here, to Greenland, so yeah, it's pretty awesome. Then, uh, okay, quickly, uh, Kiribati, just some, just a bunch of small islands sprinkled across, and then, and then less sprinkles can be for, yes. It's just some island, so yeah, so they're gonna be underwater soon, pretty sad. Hmm, it's only the oh, smallest country in Asia. Oh, yeah, it is pretty small, but soon I don't even think it can be a country because it won't even because of climate change. Yes, climate change. Oh, yeah, also the UK will be underwater too. I'm not, I'm not really sure why they don't get that many floods. They haven't really had that many floods about about here. I'm not sure. I, I heard that it's so close to the sea, like the sea is on the, the Thames. They could easily go underwater. But for some reason, it just doesn't. Anyways, okay, remember to subscribe and like the video. And bye.